Hello everyone, this is Joking Games. We are back with Fatal Frame 5. Don't worry. Last time we got I'm introduced right to the game. You. This time we're gonna head into this derelict on, building. Let's do this before it gets dark. So this, this game gets really photograph. spooky. It's not just okay. a normal photograph. Postmortem it's photograph. It's why Ren sent us here. I think I missed a ghost just then. But it seems that this photo came from somewhere around here, and he wants us to see where we can find it. Wow, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I can't get over it. I love water in video games. This looks so good. Okay. Alright, let's see here. So we're exploring this abandoned building. Head on out, seeing what we can find. This is so exciting. Check. I think this is where the service entrance should be, but it's buried under rubble. Hmm. Okay. Thick pieces of wood have been nailed to the window. Maybe they're here to protect against landslides. I see. The camera's a little wonky when running, but we'll get used to it. This game, whoa. Beautiful. Look at that light. <gasps> it's a spirit. This is her first time seeing a spirit. Oh no, the controller's going vibrating like crazy. Run away, Mew. <gasps> there he is. Hisoka! Did she not see him? They were right there. Oh my goodness, she didn't see him. They were right there. I read that sunlight's peeking out. Okay. Yuri, I guess let's keep wait. going. I can sense something. Hold R2 to find a trail. It's called a choice. Okay. A shadow of the past. The token is showing you the way. So you can follow the ghost to see where to go. Let's follow that shadow. I don't think there's any items over here. Follow the trace. Oh my goodness, it's so good hearing the Fatal Frame sounds again. I haven't heard them in so long. So they want you to go that way. What's over here? Come on, this way. Oh, okay. We gotta go this way first. I think this level's more of like a tutorial. Later on, you'll be able to fully roam. There's R2. To follow the trace. It's over here. What is this? Reaching out and grabbing a book? An old dusty book has been left in the hallway. Maybe someone dropped it? Mount Hikami's downfall. Mount Hikami has long been considered holy ground. For centuries, people have been drawn to the many sacred shrines and places of worship, as well as the natural features such as the Twilight Peak and the Pool of Purification which have themselves been treated with great reverence. The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for the beauty of its abundant clear waters and ancient mysterious forests. Worshippers and hikers alike used to find rest at Ichiru Manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from the devastating landslide it suffered years ago. The shrine road to the summit was cut off and the flow of water throughout the mountain was altered forever. New roads were under construction had to be abandoned and Ichiru Manor was buried under a slew of rock, resulting in numerous fatalities. Oh my goodness. Among those lost were the family of the Ichiru Manor's proprietor, effectively putting an end to the business. Mount Hikami's days as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notoriety as a suicide spot. Perhaps because it was traditionally destination to which the dying would venture, 
The mountain's now a place for those wishing to end their lives. By extension, it has also become a place for thrill seekers interested in the occult. So Mount Hikami, whoa, there's a ghost there. Can I take a picture of him? Oh, I missed him. So there's, there's these chance ghosts that you can find. They're friendly, um, but you only have like a split chance to get them. I'm not very good at it. Oh, that was one. Did I get him? Was that a shadow of the past? In places where the traces are strong, you may be able to view the echoes. Photographing them will earn you photo points, which can be used to upgrade the cameras. Yes, yeah, so you can upgrade the camera as well, which is really neat. Open. Nice. They open the doors a lot faster in this one. In the Wii U one, it took a while to open the doors because that was how they would... Huh. Not sure which way to go. Wait, I don't want to do that. Oh, well, I have to now. Okay. In the Wii U one, they would open the doors a lot slower, just because that was how they would mask the loading. So it's kind of interesting it's how in quickly. Room. Maybe it's in this room. The door is locked. The Try using the camera obscura. Okay. So now they're going to show us a hint, I believe. Psychic photographs. When you look around, the, when you look through the lens of the camera, you may notice it reacting to objects. Lock on and photograph them to expose places they have a connection with. Find the locations and you may discover clues. Okay. You awesome. Lock on. Press two. Was I not locked on? Oh, yeah, I wasn't locked on. Psychic photograph. Whoa, that's cool. That's a super creepy room. Look at that doll head or mask. There's something in the photo. There's light coming out of the closet and a doll on top of the dressers. It must be where the key is. Find the place shown in the photograph. Okay. You go on ahead of me and look for the key to the door. I'll wait for you here. So dolls are a thing in Fatal Frame. They love to put them and they're Whoa, there's a ghost there. There's a ghost there. Oh, I got him. Sweet. Hanging man. I'm sorry, bud. They look so good. Oh my god. If they could make a next-gen Fatal Frame, like one specifically for the PS5, or e even the Switch, I would take it. Like, that would be so cool. Wow. So let's head over here. So we have different film. As you can see, we only have the Type 7 right now. So that is the weakest film. You can think of film like bullets. So you have different levels of film to make you stronger. You found the key. It might open the door. Nice. I will say that the game is a lot nicer. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, dude. Oh, I missed him. If you don't get him in that circle. Oh, we're in the room with the doll. I wanted to see if there was anything else in the... Nope. This is all we get right now for the start menu. Wow, that doll is super creepy. I hate it. I hate it, but I love it. This game, oh my gosh, I can't stop gushing over it. I really can't. Slow-paced horror at its finest. The second one is definitely the masterpiece of them. And this one is really good. I think the only thing... Let's see here. You open the door with the key on the red keychain. Let's see. Nice. Somewhere in this room. Take a look around. Take a look around. Some little arrows kind of tell you what to look for. There's something here. It won't let me take a picture. The camera obscura will react to items that are hidden. You can bring those items to life by photographing them where they were placed. Oh, wow. Tilts. I don't remember this part. Oh, I wonder if this is new. 
Or I just don't remember it. I probably just don't remember it. They found a book. What are we looking at? This is what we came here for. Huh. Okay. Is it a photo op? We shouldn't stay here any longer than we need to. Okay. You're right. Sounds good. Let's head back before it gets dark. Okay. Nice. All right. It's starting to get a little spookier. Leave the inn with Hisoka. Okay. Let's get out of here. Is there anything I missed? No. Okay. Let's head on out. There she goes. There's a ghost there. Peering man. You can barely see him. Whoa! He hid in that door. That's crazy. Yuri? Searching for objects like we did just now might be easy, but searching for people is much more difficult. Psychometry allows you to see the psychic imprint as a shadow. Okay. Never follow after the shadow of someone who has been spirited away. You might end up yeah, so you should let the patterns. dead stay dead. There are a lot of... Uh, Fatal Frame games that have that as kind of like a story element, like chasing the past. Why aren't you following her? Huh? What did she see? <gasps> oh my goodness. Grabbed her. Mm. Okay. So taking this picture harms him. She got to see that firsthand. Wow, I can't get over the water. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, ghost will attack and grab. If it goes, can't. That's R2. Okay, so you want to try to get it. Roy Collier ghost would and you took a photo of it. Maybe taking more will exercise it for good. Photograph the ghost's weak spot. The capture area, if your area of attack, you cannot take photos if you're out of film. Okay. Gotcha. R2. Bring the target's head into focus. Okay. Use R2 to film an attack. All the film is being reloaded. And then you can take pictures of those spots there. They're kind of like bullets, like they'll come after you if you don't get them. Okay. Spirit fragments. Oh no. Where'd he go? Spirit fragments. Spirit fragments break off when a ghost takes damage. After a time, they are resorbed. Photograph the fragments before that happens. When five or more targets in view, taking a photograph will knock back the ghosts. The capture area will go red. Keep adjusting your position so that you have at least five targets. Sorry, two. Okay. So if you get five targets in frame, you have a better chance. When they're red, that's a shutter chance. So that's really good. Find ghosts animated by the uh, spirit filament. Fatal frame. When a capture flashes red as the ghost is attacking you, you can take the fatal frame shot you need to capture. Apart from a knockback, it triggers the fatal time, which can allow you to take photos in quick succession. Alright. So you have to wait for the ghost to attack right there. Okay, now you can take a bunch of photos while he's doing that. Nice. Where you go? Find the ghost. Attack range and power. Camera Obscura only has an effect on ghosts within a specific range. Ghosts that are too far away won't take damage. The bigger the circle, the more damage. Get close for the powerful shots. Okay. Nice. Okay. Come 
Come on, buddy. I wonder if there is a way. Oh, that was good. I'm just gonna see if there's a way to disable all the rumble. Because it just seems to be probably being picked up by the mic way too much. First encounter. She's terrified. He's comforting her. I, I shouldn't have brought you here. She's still sitting on the edge of that cliff. I suppose that's a memory. We're back to the ritual. There's a young boy with a knife. A lot of these dark rituals involve sacrificing people, unfortunately. It seems this is also the case. Don't do it. water box. That's the ritual of this game, the water box ritual. Huh, so now we have our new characters. I believe this is Ren, oh, that maybe. Dream again. Um, Mr. Hojo? Hosoka came by a little while ago. Oh, and then this girl. Ahsoka. What does she want? She found the photo book. She did? Yeah, here, take a look. <laughs> she found the book for them. <sighs> what does he see? I made in pictures of the ritual we just witnessed. That white haired girl. While learning about the shadow from Hisoka, Yuri used the power the ability to retrieve an album of post mortem post mortem photographs from a ruined inn on Mount Hikami. The album was requested by Ren Hojo, so that was the guy with the glasses. As Ren awoke from a dream, he found himself tormented by uncertainty. Was it a dream or a suppressed childhood memory? This question plagued him for some time. All right, so first drop, 16 minutes, raids rank C. Because I probably really messed up. <laughs> the following content has been added past protagonist costumes. Okay. Cool, the following content. Okay, so it's giving me all my DLC. With the witch's hat. Oh, that one's pretty cool. And in this cage ring. What does that do? Let's see. In the... Very, very cool. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.